Alrighty everyone, uh, I'm back here with another video, the day after I reviewed my first Predator figure, and uh, quick little notice I'm going to say here is that I have a lot of Predator figures, so what I'm going to be doing is instead of reviewing them day after day after day after day, I'm going to split them up and do two figures each week until I cover all of them. So yeah, that's how it's going to go. Uh, they'll come out on any random day, no matter what day it comes out. But there will be two figures each week until I cover all of them. And I'll let you know which ones are, which one is the last one when I get to it. But now that you know that, let's get right into the video. And uh, our, our second Predator for this week is uh, the City Hunter. The City Hunter Predator. Predator 2 is definitely a solid sequel. Love Predator 2. I have a lot of friends that did not like Predator 2, but I loved it. I thought it was great. I love Danny Glover. He's pretty cool. And, uh, of course, Kevin Peter Hall played the Predator again in Predator 2. He also played the Elder Predator at the end. And uh, Kevin Peter Hall, of course, did a very great job as the Predator in both movies. And uh, Predator 2 was definitely good. I mean, of course, the original was better, but Predator 2 is definitely right up there with it. So here is the City Hunter Predator in its package. I love the Predator figure package designs. I think they are pretty cool. Uh, I've got a picture of City Hunter right there. He's unmasked. This one's unmasked as well. He does not have a mask that comes with him. He had a mask in the movie, but uh, this one is the unmasked version of him. There is a masked version, but I just have the unmasked version. Uh says right there over 25 points of articulation includes smart disc accessory oh, yeah so that's the front of the package and there's a picture of city hunter with his mask on right there now we're going to turn to the back uh city hunter better two picture of city hunter right there analysis it says ghost for some reason i don't know what that is and then his weapons are the disc, the net launcher, plasma caster, and wrist blades. Now, uh, there's a little dialogue right there that you can read. So, pause it right here if you want to read it. I'll keep it still for a minute. Alright. And we have also a valuable. Uh, I think he's called the Shannon Predator. Or the Shaman Shaman. City Hunter. And... I forgot what his name was. I do not know. I think it was the Boar Predator. I forgot. I don't know. Let me know if you know what his name is. But. So. I'm going to pause the little thing here. Get him opened up. And we'll have a better look at City Hunter. So City Hunter is out of his package. With all his glory. And uh, he comes with one accessory. Which is the throwing disc that he had in Predator 2. Uh, yeah, it was that scene where he got first unmasked and then Keys was decided, hey, it's between me and him. Yeah, I'm the main character, uh-huh. Yeah. And then he takes out the disc, freaking throws it, cuts the dude right in half. Like, no, no, you're not Dan, you're not the protagonist. Danny Glover is. Because he's better than you, Keys. Stupid Keys. But yeah, uh, that is the throwing disc from Predator 2. Cuts like steel. I mean, it's plastic, but in the movie it cut through, like, everything. And then, here's the figure itself. He has a different plasma caster. It's, like, mounted on his shoulder. Right here. 
Let's just do this. We'll get a better look. It's like mounted on his shoulder right there. Which is really cool. Definitely like that. Focus camera. There we go. And like, you can either have it up right here, or there's a little line right there. You can just put it down. Now it's nowhere in sight. Nowhere in sight, but I like to not, but I like to pose them with it out. And then he's got his little of his arm disc holder right there. You just put the disc in there, kind of push it in there. It stays in, but like if you just, if you, yeah, it'll kind of pop out if you do that. So if you want to pose them with the disc in there, don't like bonk them around or the disc will fall out. And uh, of course his blades do extend. Just like the last predator. Very cool, very cool. And uh, there's this gun. And love the City Hunter Predator. One of my favorite predator designs. Love them. Love the City Hunter. I prefer City Hunter Unmasked. Than masked. I'm not saying I didn't like the Sadie Hunter mask, but I think he just looks really menacing when he's unmasked. Alright, let's get a good look at his face here. Focus camera. Focus camera. Focus! There we go, it's focusing now. No, it's not. Ah, yeah, it's focusing now. Now we can look at his face. Face, face. Oh, yeah, that... He, he is very terrifying. He's got more armor. He's got a little bit more armor than the classic Predator. Of course, you can't have Predator without his self-destruct thing. It's this net launcher right there and his feet, his legs, his reptilian looking feet, reptilian looking skin, all his dreads, his black dude dreads. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying not to be racist, but it's alright. Very cool. Love it. Love that. Love it. I also have not had any problems with this with this dude. Everything works great on him. I think he is the second figure I got cuz the the figure I reviewed in the last video was the first predator I got and this one is my second. So yeah. His little predator purse pack thing here. All of his armor on his back and that cool stuff. And uh self destruct D pad right there. Well he I mean he also uses it to cloak. Please don't correct me in the comments. And then, uh, now this hand right here is used to hold the disc if you want to, if you want to pose him with the disc in his hand. Just put it right there. You just line the fingers up with the holes. It's kind of hard to get it in there, but it, it's possible. Oh, nope, nope. Crap. Okay, 
disc is in his hand. Looking very cool with it. Like it, like it, like it. Very cool. Yeah, if I was to pose him, I'd pose him holding his disc like this, just like this. Stop looking at me like that, Predator. I don't like that. Stop. Stop that. Yeah, look over there. I wish you could pull his net launcher off. I wish his net launcher was detachable, but it's not. Sadly, it's not. Alright, so now we're going to get into some articulations. So I'm going to just take that out of his hand. Okay. Okay, so move that out of the way too. So the city hunter has a rotate his head. He can also go up and down. He can nod his head. Then he's got ball joint in his shoulder. Go out just a little bit. And then he's got a little uh, hinge in his ro in his uh, forearm. Rotate it, and then his wrist is on a ball joint, and then his, his torso can swivel, his leg can come outward, and it can also do that, it can come forward, his knee has a little bend right there, does not have a swivel. And then his ankle is on a ball joint. So, very solid figure. A lot of people are not fans of the City Hunter design of Predator. Like, you can go on other um, City Hunter Predator figure reviews and they'll say, I'm not a huge fan of City Hunter's design. But, for me, I, I loved City Hunter's design. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. So, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Uh, if you're a collector and you don't have this figure, I recommend this one too. Because this one is very nice. I want to get the ultimate version of City Hunter. He, he has like the two detachable heads. He will, he'll have the mask and the unmasked version. Like heads. And all of his weapons and stuff. So yeah. That I want. And then um. I'm going to rate this figure on a scale of 10. I will give him. An 8 and a half. He's a good figure. Um. I wouldn't give him a solid 10 like I did the other one. But. It's definitely a good figure. Uh. Haven't had any problems with him. Very great. Very good. And, uh, that'll be it for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. See you later. Bye.